Hi, I'm Larry McRae with Poison Spider. Poison Spider is the official armor of the King of the Hammers. Uh, many of you have asked, you know, what is the King of the Hammers? What are the Hammers? Uh, and what is our connection with the Hammers and the King of the Hammers? And I'd like to spend a minute, if you don't mind, explaining how it all ties together. The Hammers are a trail system within the Johnson Valley OHV area. And the Johnson Valley OHV area is a uh, piece of California desert uh, that has some pretty brutal canyons. Uh, I would say back in the early 90s, the Victor Valley Four Wheel Drive Club kind of adopted the area and started building trails to these brutal canyons. Uh, it's just as uh, the, the Jeep started to evolve, people were looking for a little more challenge and this was a perfect place to, uh, to meet that challenge. Uh, the trail name, the Hammers, or the name of the Hammers, kind of originated from, uh, from Chuck Shaner. He was the president of the Victor Valley Four Wheel Drive Club at the time. And after they completed the first trail, which ended up being sledgehammers, somebody commented that it looked like his Jeep had been hit with, uh, with a sledgehammer. So there is where the uh, hammer theme began. The next trail was jackhammer. Uh, the next one was a little bit easier, so they called it claw hammer. The next one was really hard, so they, ca hard, so they called it wrecking ball. So uh, that's where the hammer theme started. That's where the need for armor started. So it all kind of ties in. My first encounter with the, uh, the hammer trail systems was probably the same as what most people who have ever been out there encountered. I uh, had a group of friends that took me out. Uh, I think the only trails there at that time were uh, sledgehammer and jackhammer. And we pulled up to sledge and I thought for sure they were in the wrong canyon because there was no way a Jeep was gonna drive up this trail. And, uh, and 12 hours later, I was a believer when we were sitting at the top of the trail. Uh, and from that moment on, I've been hooked. Uh, I've helped with Victor, helped Victor Valley develop some of the other trails that are out there. Uh, me and some of my friends and club members have actually broken a few of these trails. We've actually just found the canyons and made the trails. So uh, it's where uh, me and my family go to recreate. It's the type of wheeling that we enjoy doing. Uh, so we spend as much time out there as we possibly can. It's where we now test products. If, uh, if we've got a whole product line named after the hammers, the built for the hammers product line, uh, because of the sledgehammer theme where, uh, where uh, if you take a Jeep through there unprotected, you're going to come out looking like it's been hit with a sledgehammer. We developed armor specifically for those kind of trails, and a whole industry has sprouted up from that. Uh, we were the first to have a full crusher corner the f that went from the tailgate to the door. Uh, before that, you could kind of get a, an aluminum stick-on diamond plate corner that uh, was primarily designed as a cosmetic piece to, co to cover the damage you probably got on a trail like this. Uh, they also had, uh, back then, diamond-plated uh, aluminum stick-on rocker protection, which again was more cosmetic. Uh, so, you know, a, a full-on rocker knocker was developed. Uh, tube fenders, you know, fenders were getting smashed pretty regular on these trails, so the tube fender was uh, developed. Uh, and, and Poison Spider was the first to mass produce a, a, a tube fender. Uh, big, clunky, chrome tube bumpers uh, would hold you up on the trail and would get folded up on the trail and actually cause more damage when it folded back around and hit your body. So uh, uh, tighter, uh, better design with the uh, approach and departure angle in mind, uh, armor became, or bumpers became uh, a theme at uh, Poison Spider. And since then, there's been dozen com a dozen companies that have kind of sprouted up and have developed uh, lines similar to what we've done. Uh, but it all started because of, uh, because of the hammers. Not only was the hammer trail system the birthplace for rock crawling, it was one of the very first venues for competitive rock crawling. Uh, back, I believe, in the late 90s, uh, a group of people decided or, or figured out how to score <laughs> rock crawling. Uh, up to that point, it was just a, you and your buddies on the trail uh, picking harder and harder lines, trying to play kind of follow the leader. And I think it was uh, Phil Howell and, and I think Bob Hazel that kind of developed the scoring system that started rock crawling. Uh, there's been dozens and dozens of rock crawling events held at Johnson Valley. Uh, and, and me personally have been involved with them in some form or another since the very first one. Uh, the very first event out there, uh, our club, w along with the Victor Valley Club, were judges of these events. Uh, which we would do the scoring at the indi individual uh, uh, stages. Uh, the first event, I believe, was in Clawhammer and Wrecking Ball were the first two trails to be used competitively. Uh, rock crawling as a spectator sport was kind of fun at first, uh, but unless you really know the intricacies of, of the scoring, it was hard to follow along and cheer on a leader. And uh, So I think the 24 hours at the Hammers was probably the first uh, 
first event that was timed and involved rock crawling. Uh, turned out that that was a much better spectator sport and several rock racing associations kind of spawned off of that. Uh, the first one that, uh, that I know that has grown, or the only one I know that has grown into this huge event uh, was what Hammer King Productions, what uh, Dave Cole and Jeff Knoll created back in the mid-2000s was the, uh, the King of the Hammers event. Started out as a uh, kind of a bet between a bunch of buddies that uh, you couldn't do these, uh, this, the Hammer Trail system and get back to the lake bed, or the first guy that did the whole Hammer Trail system and get back to the lake bed uh, would win a six pack of beer. Well, back then, uh, you know, it may take you a day to do a trail or two. Uh, you know, they were going to do seven or eight of these trails in, in a race, and uh, uh, that's how the King of the Hammers started. Uh, the next year it was an organized, a little more organized, and there was actual, uh, you know, you had to sign up, and there was timing and scoring and all the things that uh, are involved today. And it's grown into one of the, well, it is the toughest single day uh, off-road race in the world. Uh, it has grown into one of the top 10 toughest uh, races, period. Uh, you know, that includes the 24 hours of Le Mans, you know, the car, the Baja 1000. Uh, it's up amongst those as far as, uh, as how, how grueling it is. Uh, and it's probably one of the uh, best viewed off-road races in the world. Uh, and because of that, it's brought a lot of attention to the Johnson Valley area, which is, you know, and it's, it's being threatened uh, for closure. Uh, I think if it was just a trail system that me and a couple of my buddies were still using, it probably uh, wouldn't have received the attention it has, and it probably at this point had been gone. Uh, but because of uh, Hammer King and, and the attention that it's drawn uh, to this area, uh, I think we're kind of turning the corner on this fight and there's a good chance that we might be able to continue to recreate here and continue to have this race here. Um, and because of that, because of our history there as, 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 as a company and my history there as just Larry McRae, a wheeler, and because of Hammer King Productions history there as uh, stewards of the land uh, and bringing the attention there, it just seemed to be a natural fit. Uh, Poison Spider was the first armor company uh, and, and the hammers were the first trail where armor <laughs> was important. Uh, and Hammer King brought all the attention, and the King of the Hammers brought all the attention to the Hammer Trail system, so it's a natural fit for Poison Spider to be the official armor of King of the Hammers.